Now this locking nut, as you can see, it's locked into place, but this is incorrect. As you can see, this is the flat side of the locking nut facing down. Again, this is wrong. You can also see that it creates a loose fit with the blade. This is incorrect, this would be the cause of your leaking. So to crack this, you'd simply untwist, turn the knock and lock nut over, so again, the ridges are facing down, and then twist, and again, this you can see that this creates a nice snug fit, and this should prevent your leaking. Again, to test, you can just re-put your bowl onto the machine and do a blending cycle. Now, if there's no cracks in the bottom of your bowl and your locking nuts on correctly, the next thing to check is the gasket itself. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and detach the blade, again, turning in opposite directions, using the plastic pieces to make sure you don't hurt yourself, the blade's very sharp. And we're going to look at the blade assembly. Now on a cracked blade assembly, you can see here there's a small rubber gasket. Uh, it's a black rubber ring that sits snugly against the top of the blade, and you can see the flared side you want facing down. On a cracked assembly, you can see here the gasket is snug up against the top of the blade with the flared side down, creating that nice tight seal against the bottom of the bowl. So first, if you're missing a gasket, then that's the source of your leak. So you want to go ahead and get a new one. Um, if you have your gasket, what you're going to want to check is all around the edge here to see if there are any tears or missing pieces. Even a hairline tear is going to break that waterproof seal and cause your baby cook to leak. If you have any of these issues or realize you need any replacement parts, you can just go ahead and customize customer service or purchase a part on our website.